on hardware news. Um, the first part of this is don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. Um, Katney's guest editing. Along with Hub report to Katney. Paul C. Yeah. And um, this week, CircuitPython 820 release candidate one. Um, you can check out the changes and more. There's enhancement of SynthIO and the RP20 alarm sleep memory. Um, of course, bug fixes. Yeah. There's a cool interview with uh, Phil Howard, who did, who did the Bluetooth uh, MicroPython stuff. Check that out. Um, and then some of the folks that were in the show and tell, uh, we have some highlights. Uh, you could check out this continuous cap touch controller circuit. And yeah. And then uh, lots of Python projects, of course, and more. But this week, the thing that I wanted to ask you about, Lady Ada, because we're working on this, is uh, something that was in Hackster. Hey, look, I know that. That baby arm, that's our kid. Um, Hackster covered this. This is one of the things that we've been working on for a while. It's what we think the first Python powered uh, baby toy. Also, <laughs> you can do lots of neat things with it. So I was going to ask you, let's go to the overhead. Um, this is our board right here. Yeah. So this is the this is a, a well-known kind of infant toy that a lot of people have seen. This is the, uh, maybe you can put the thing up here. This is the baby Einstein, um, you know, take a long tunes. So we have the board off and we're going to, this is a coming soon product. This, so we took the, the, the PCB out of it and we have a replacement. So I'm going to turn it on and, um, this runs circuit Python, but it does a couple interesting things. There's a, there's Wi-Fi and Webflow, and then there's SD cards. Um, when you press the button, so normally this would be you know, part of the, the, sealed up and be part of the toy itself and everything. Um, but when you press this, that's playing off the internal memory. Yeah. And then we have our own custom lights that you can program on CircuitPython stuff. And then, um, oh, let me, uh, so, I don't know if you can hear that. I think could the audio cancel? You might not be able to hear this because they have audio cancel, but this is the kid version of Nine Inch Nails Hurt. Hurt. And somebody makes these audio books. Yeah, I think it's like Rockwell. So one of the biggest complaints or like comments about these type of things is like, oh, the, the songs are repetitive. I'd really like to be able to change them, but they're And they're always like baby toys. School music. Yeah. So there's there's two things going on. One plays music and then the other thing is there's a there's a Wi Fi capability. So once it's sealed up, so how how does this work and why is Python on hardware the right choice for this? Um, instead of other or a choice for this instead of other things. Well, I mean, Python is definitely the fastest way, and it's also the most user friendly, I think, to modify it. Um, and we have Wi-Fi workflows, so once you set it up to connect to your internet, you can log into it and like easily type stuff and like change the lighting and um, you know what the button does and how it acts. So it's it's mostly about a speed of integration, um, and also again like native Wi-Fi workflow means that you can you know, edit and change the files, something that if you're using something like Arduino or Zephyr or whatever, you can do over the air programming, but you can only change like all the firmware at once. You can't edit the file. Like you can't drag and drop files easily. Um, you'd have to do a lot of work to, to get that kind of functionality going, but it's built into CircuitPython. So that's kind of nice. And also um, playing audio and doing audio mixer support with I2S is like built in. So that's also super easy. It's like you just import you know audio core and you're ready to go and neopixel support you can have animations so basically everything was just ready to go it made it really easy i could you know the hardware was hard but doing the software only took um yeah like a half an hour so i think this is going to be a, a neat reference platform we're not getting into the baby toy business um but it's a neat reference platform for people who want to do audio they want to have things light up and they want to have the interaction only be maybe with a phone or not computer or have it over wireless in some way. And with components and things that are available, understandable um, storage that you can upgrade over time if needed. And then it runs off batteries and then you're working on low power mode. Yeah, the looking yeah. stuff is, is next up. I mean, it's got, I fixed the power supply, so now it runs off of yeah. AA batteries or USB, whereas before it wasn't working off of batteries very well. Um, so the next thing is, is, you know, figuring out how I want to do light sleep and deep sleep mode. So probably it'll do light sleep for 
um, you know, two minutes. So it's like if you press the button, it'll it'll uh, immediately start playing. But if you um, you know don't um, don't do anything with it, if you you know stop playing audio and you yeah. press the button in like two minutes, it'll go into a deep sleep mode, and that way you don't have to remember to turn it off because we left it on and it freed the batteries. Yeah. So I thought this would be like a really good real world example of like we say Python on hardware, like well, what can you actually do with all this stuff? And putting these things together is really hard. Yeah. Um, this is why you know kind of the joke that Lady and I talk about is so, so over fifteen years ago maybe when make started every i don't know month or so um we'd get an email at make um i was there at this as a senior editor like oh i'm gonna have a kid soon i'm gonna totally hack baby toys and like do all this stuff no one ever does um, it's really hard if you don't have because you're busy with kids and stuff software. um and there was really no no way to do this as certainly not that a, that a mere mortal could do so now you know almost two decades later it seems like all the pieces are together now. So we think this will be a cool reference board. We'll talk about this in the new product section because it's going to be coming soon. Um, future product designer could be for classes. We don't want to do injection molding or anything like that. We wanted to have this fit into something that people could get. And then when I kind of pulled informally, everyone has one of these. Everyone has yeah, everyone has Yeah, they're everywhere. They're, they're every back, so they're very, yeah, very common. Yeah, I was talking to someone who's doing a guide with us, and they're like, oh, I have two. I don't even know where they came from. Um, so that's this week's Python on hardware, some real world examples. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter delivered every single week. Adafruitdaily.com is where you do it. It is our spam free resource for all things Python and other newsletters that we have as well. 